Super gay, but I applaud. Kiss! Oh, hello there, beautiful humans. My name is Brad Guy. Welcome back to the wackiness that is my channel. Uh, I've had a really up and down week. I just want to give you a quick mental health update. Uh, I lost my job this week which was really devastating. Uh, it totally came out of nowhere and it was kind of unfair. So now I'm left unemployed and my life has just been totally shook. I'm a pretty resilient person, so I'll bounce back just fine. And I feel like if you've gone through something similar where you've lost your job or maybe you're going through a breakup, you're feeling really down and sad, it's almost like your brain subconsciously recommends wholesome, good, positive content for you. And what I noticed online is that a guy called Eugene Lee Yang from the Try Guys, who are these four guys that originated from BuzzFeed, they do a lot of editorial viral-like content. They're actually quite funny. I don't watch a lot of their videos, but I'm very familiar with them based on their work with BuzzFeed. And the hunky one, Eugene, has come out as gay in this very high production, fine art, polished cinematic music video. And I'm gonna react to it in today's video. And I'm thinking if I was coming out and I had the money and the resources to make a goddamn music video saying I am gay then I would 100% do it I think I haven't even watched the video yet and I know that he's already done one of the gayest things that anyone could do which is coming out of the closet all guns blazing so let's react to the try guys Eugene Lee Yang's coming out video called I'm gay very self-explanatory title <laughs> and play actually I'm gonna wear headphones hold on He's a really stunning, beautiful person, like aesthetically chiseled perfectly. Oh, this is all quite serious. I feel like I'm gonna cry. I already know I'm gonna cry. And where's he pulling, where is he pulling these moves from? Yes. Yep, fierce, love it, yeah. Oh. I'm getting goosebumps, I'm actually getting goosebumps. This is... Real. Hot beauty guy in the background. I can see hot beauty guy in the background here. Yes, approve. Oh my god! Yes! Oh, he gets to touch the hot guy. <laughs> Yeah, he's a babe. Ooh. He's such a fierce dancer and I did not see that coming at all. Oh, great pants. Love the colour. This would have taken so long to rehearse and master. Wow. Uh-oh, he's gonna dance with the boy! Oh. Good for him, this is stunning, this is art. <laughs> it's so gay though, I'm gonna come out with a music video. Super gay, but I applaud. Kiss! Oh my god, it's Kim Chi, hello. And Mayhem Miller. And some other beautiful queens. Ah, oh, I would love to be an extra in this part. This looks fun. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm getting shivers.
<sighs> this is beautiful. I feel like that gun scene was a reference to the Pulse nightclub shooting, I'm not sure. In which case, interesting inclusion. I'm sure that would be very triggering for some people. It's triggering for me even to see that sort of imagery. Fui. He looks great. Blue is a really great colour on Eugene. Ooh, lovely dress. Ah, the fashion in this video has honestly been next level. I really applaud the fashion. Wow, he choreographed it as well. <laughs> that is crazy. Music by Odessa, love, love, love. That really exceeded my expectations. I thought it would be a bit more literal. This was stunning, and I think it's been so well done. Really moving, really special. Uh, I kind of feel like crying now. <sighs> I saw a lot of people online. Okay, Todrick Hall is auto-playing. I don't have time to do nails, hair, hips, heels, Todrick. I want to cry. <laughs> Holy dooly, that was, that was confronting in some parts. I think as queer people, a lot of that imagery we're familiar with because that's something we've had to fight. It was powerful because I could really feel his personal story, but also the queer personal story, the story that we all kind of share and those plot points that we're all familiar with, with family pressure, fear of coming out, wanting to celebrate with our queer friends. Well done, Eugene. This video has been quite the talking point on Twitter. I've seen a few people say negative things about Eugene's timing, that he timed it during Pride Month, he timed it with an upcoming, upcoming tour that he has and that he posted it on the Try Guys channel for maximum publicity. Look, you can read into these things and really dissect them and say that he's trying to profit off queer culture, but he is one of us. And I think we should lift him up and say, congratulations, you've just made art that could inspire people. And especially being an Asian queer, I'm sure that is inspiring the Asian queer community, which I think is special. It's beautiful. We need this visibility. We don't really see the impact of our visibility all the time. <laughs> the, it's funny, it's ironic. The work of our visibility is often invisible. We don't know what impact this will have on the millions of queer kids growing up on the internet that are watching videos like this, this might inspire them to fully express themselves and it could change lives. That's why it's special. So you could poo-poo it all you like and say that it's someone profiting off Pride Month and profiting off queers. But the main fact of the matter is that this is someone who's saying, I am visible, I'm going against family pressure, I'm going against career pressure, I wanna be myself and I wanna change the world. So Eugene Lee Yang, Props to you, my friend. Mwah. But if you are in the process of coming out, know that if it's not safe for you now, you don't have to. There is no pressure to come out. Make sure you are safe, that you might have the family support, the community support. You're in a town that is open to queers. Sometimes you might be in a space that isn't safe and I implore you to go out into the world when you're able to, when you've got the funds or when you've got the support. You've got to find that place where you can come out and be yourself because you don't want to live in the closet forever. The closet can be a dark, scary place and there's a big, queer, colorful world out there for you. So I really hope you find it. And if you do need to talk to someone about coming out, send me a message, honestly, because I've been there. I've been that person where there's just been such intense self-loathing and shame and guilt and wishing and literally praying to God, which is funny now because I'm a gay theist, but praying to God that I wasn't gay. And that is such an awful debilitating feeling and no one should have to go through that. So if you are wanting to come out, give yourself time, give yourself peace and make sure you're in a safe space and know that I love you and there's a big queer family here waiting for you. But that is it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys wanting to watch me watch something and get a little bit teary. If you want to be notified of every time I upload, hit the bell icon, but that's it for another video, a cheeky Brad Guy bonus video on a Sunday. Have an excellent day, an excellent life. Peace and love to you. Mwah! Yes, I love you. Happy Pride.